I just want to say, I will, by saying that I liked it. I thought it was good. I thought it was funny, but not a comedy and sad, but not a tragedy. And, and, and Mads dances. Really? Wow. Mad. Like, like I looked like, apparently he used to do that as a thing. He was, yeah. a dancer. I, it was obvious. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah there's he, some, there's some of those twists. Live kind of graceful guy, but um, he was a dancer for many years. Yeah. He's sort of like a Danish Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, I've never seen a performance by him that's bad, though. I, ever. I don't know. I, ever. Like, I've that. never seen this guy do... Do you guys, anybody watch the, the Hannibal series with him? Yeah. yeah. I have not she seen that, so I hope it's good. Mm-hmm. Sandy's she a big her. fan of that, right? She's a massive fan of that. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy violent, but he was a... It was an interesting, like, wait, really? Him? Huh? And then when you saw him in it, and then when you saw him, like, he said that his motivation for the violent scenes was to be like a panther and when that guy wants to he can move like a panther yeah it's quite something well when you Terrifying. first start when you first start studying acting um actually they tell you to look and observe animals a lot oh. the way they move and and yeah because it, it helps you perhaps with the character so, exactly like that okay. the physicality yeah yeah the physicality all right, th- this film is um, it keep you ever, kept, you ever all the reviews. It's like a, it's a it's a middle aged guys bonding movie, but it's not. This is actually this film mm-hmm. science. This film talks about this guy. Was it uh, 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 Finn Skarderud's theory yeah. that we all have to have that a real zero thing? five? That's He's a real, a real thing. Guy. He's a real thing. Now, the thing is that uh, uh, Europeans, Western Europeans, all uh, they evolved there with no fresh water, so they had nothing to do but drink mead and beer so they can get water in their system because you drink drink it out of a, of a, of a other... drink it out of a lake or drink it out of a creek you're gonna die right so they were always buzzed which is the, the same time. thing now because they uh, just keep spilling tons of toxic waste yeah. into all the rivers yeah you'd be crazy to if go in a ever... creek right now but anyway they're think of it the vikings probably conquered all of europe buzzed you know the, everything is, <laughs> and, and, and this been, they've been buzzed for centuries and this it's is called... simply it's called <laughs> the Black Ages because everyone was blacked out. It was out. blacked out, exactly. <laughs> so if, this you, was simply- if, you, if you study philosophy at all, though, you know that there's almost a philosophy theory about almost any fucking But what, what, the thing is, the, <laughs> the, 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 counter this, Leary. the counter to this is, is in fact, in the uh, Far Eastern cultures where they, they brewed tea that get fed to water in them rather than actually uh, fermented things. And so yeah. they have a-, a Or you know, coffee. Ja- people from, yeah, coffee, Japan, China, Korea, they have a 50% of people have an allergic reaction or have an intolerant to alcohol. It makes them sick. But the Europeans have, have been drinking it for centuries, decades, uh, millennia. So it's like, yeah, maybe they're, the 0.05 is actually a natural thing to do. The, and like- the set off to this is the fact one out of the four became uh, horribly alcoholic and died because that, that number is also <laughs> congruent with drinking too much. One out of four, what, what 20% of people are going to fall into alcoholism? Mm. Of course, it was the soccer coach. Who did yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. It was pure science. I thought. Also, I think we're we're the wrong place to talk about that twenty percent because we're way more than twenty percent in this chat. Oh, somebody <laughs> here is going to like. Yeah, uh, was, <laughs> I, I, I'm with John somebody. I, uh, <laughs> I, I really like this movie. I'm with John. I, I actually watched it last week on my own, and so I was really glad that Chris picked it, and because I didn't have anyone to talk. About that's, it, with. that's convenient. You know? <laughs> that helps me. And uh, yeah, I mean, a huge fan of Mads, of course. And this filmmaker actually did my favorite film of, I think it maybe like 2012 or something. It was called The Hunt. Oh, right, and, right, uh, right. Which he's also in. Yeah, he's also yeah. the lead in yeah. that. And wow. I think that might be his best performance. And it was my favorite movie of that year. And it's a very, it's, it's more of a drama than this. But mm-hmm. um, fuck, this filmmaker's good. Can I have my two minutes where everyone's going to get mad at me? No, please. Go ahead. Don't yourself out. I, I get mad at you before I even get it. <laughs> That's a dartboard. One, I don't like Mads Milkinson. Like, yeah. like it's it has nothing to do with his performance or his acting or anything else. There's just something about him that I don't like. And it took me out of the movie the entire... No, no, Jared. I understand. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. There are it, always some actors that just rub us the wrong way no just, matter what. It, yeah, and like I, I want to like him too because he's a very, very good actor. Like he is very good, but there's just something about him that just takes me out of it. I'm just surprised. And, 
And then the <laughs> other thing about this movie that I thought was good, but also bad, is it does give you the feeling of being drunk through the entire thing. Like, that's interesting. Like I, I said, Generation P, like that's what being on drugs is like. This movie is what being drunk is like. Like a little they, drunk. They a do drunk. well, but then more and more yeah. and more and more as yeah. it goes on. Yeah. Like it's they like, just like it I'm does a, of many things is like being in a dream. It does a very good job of conveying what drinking a little too much, medium too much, and a lot too much is like. Yeah. And then also, <laughs> I I just think it was a little bit too long, just a touch, like like ten minutes. Like I think you could take bother me. You could take some of the the longer musical interludes out of it, and probably the children singing. I if not to rush anything, but if we can jump partly to the end, or or just talk about one aspect I loved about the movie was it wasn't. It wasn't Zemeckis's um, pilot Zemeckis. one with Denzel, where it's like basically an ad for fucking AA, right? No, like no. there was no, there was no flight? message. Flight, yeah, yeah I fucking yeah. hate that movie. That movie, <laughs> that, that movie like might as well have been it. sponsored by fucking Alcoholics Anonymous, and at the end, it should have their fucking logo on it. Mm-hmm. Um, the this movie was like, we're not. There's no message here. There's no it doesn't fucking... judge you for drinking, right? It, it judges you end, for maybe going again. too far, but like it doesn't judge you for drinking. No, and, yeah, it, and it's it very level headed that way. It's like even after one of them dies, they get together and have a drink. Yeah. It's yeah. like they're kind of not about it, though. Which is, kind which of is, about which is, it. And, but that's yeah, a little shock real. touch with the they do a shock touch with the glasses after he dies. Like, should we, should we, should we? Oh, okay, let's do it. <laughs> but it's like that's <laughs> they go to the other restaurant. That's probably what would happen. That is very yes, real. Yeah. That's what you would do. <laughs> and 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 then at the end, of course, when they're partying with the students. They're all drinking again. You know, yep. they're drinking champagne. Yep. They're drinking yep. like mm-hmm. that's but I like the fact that they all get bust it, to the area where they're. Well, this is one of those. This is one of yeah. those rare films that I love. Films that are happy, sad. You guys know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like absolutely. Uh, mm-hmm. Like this film, the whole like last whatever ten minutes or five minutes is this bittersweetness. You know what this movie this movie sad. reminds me of? Mm-hmm. Train Spotting. Actually, it reminded me no, of a little bit, dancing. a little bit. That, that bittersweet. Was, that, that was actually does. more. But train spotting was more moralistic than this film. Well, but Troy, Troy, what I thought this movie did remarkably well was show the seductive. I mean, like, like, let's face it. There's plenty of movies that glorify drinking, like mm-hmm. every fucking comedy we've ever seen. But I thought that, like, the look on Mads's face, because you know he wasn't gonna. He was like halfway out the door, and he looks over, hears him talk about the Sazerac, and back in. And <laughs> yeah. Like this movie, something about this movie really understands human nature. But what the reason I'm comparing train spotting is, if you remember, like one of them gets into it, dabbles, and then dies. Right. Yeah. Like, like there's there's a seductive nature and something that, that the movie understands about human nature and its relationship with alcohol, mm-hmm. while remaining remarkably non-judgmental the entire time. Okay. And, and and you're right that train spotting has that almost similar bittersweet ending yes. where. He rips off everyone. He's walking away, and he has that wonderful monologue again from the yes. beginning, where he's choose like, life. "I'm gonna choose life. I'm gonna choose a fucking career." And he's got all that money, and it's yep. fucking. It's like it's like oddly uplifting, like the end of this movie. It's oddly uplifting. Oddly yeah. uplifting. Yeah. 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 Also, it. can we talk about the fact that like all the movies we've done in the last month are just face acting movies? Like the, all these movies are just like hard cut to faces. Can like, it? Yeah, Which I, tenant, well, tenant was full of face acting, like of face acting and, tenant, and a profit too, a profit too. Yeah, like, it's yeah, just, I, I, and it's I think just, that's the hard. You know, we talked about it last week a little bit, but I think some of the best performances are built in a face when they're not. Oh, I don't think it's bad by any stretch of the yeah. imagination. Like mm-hmm. I, that's actually probably my favorite part of this movie is all of the like quarter shot, three quarter shot stuff where it's just like dudes looking at each other and being like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, something yeah. about yeah. there's yeah. something about Mads. I'm really surprised to hear, Tad, that you don't like it. But because I there's something about Mads when he's on the screen, he command like it, it's almost like no actor in one of his films is even like in the same fucking race as him or something. Oh, like, I don't think he's he, I, I, I don't he, think he's he, bad. He, he, like it's that, in his face, everything, everything. The, it's you're missing there. 
you're misunderstanding me. I don't think he's bad. I think he's an amazing actor. I just have an innate dislike of him. Like, well, it's, it's like, not. It's like, oh, this is like me and Stuart Catherine Hepburn. It's like, Hepburn. It's like, it's like yeah. me and Bill Murray. Yeah, yeah, you know, right. I, 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 he's what? done good work. I, I can't stand Bill Murray, but he's yeah. done, Scott, he's Scott done like some Bill good Murray. work, but I don't like him. Yeah. He, it rubs me the wrong way. Uh, so I know what that's like. Oh, I think Chris left before he had the argument about uh, Caddyshack. Oh, well, <laughs> great. <laughs> anyway, anyway, two things. Uh, now I don't feel so bad because I got one of those before too from Chris. Okay. So I don't Between, so okay. He has one for all of us. He does. He does. Yeah, he's ready to go at a moment. I, 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 these things. I do. Yeah. Anyway, got two things. You get me next week. Uh, between yeah. this and yeah. force majeure, between this and force majeure and um, insomnia, we have now fully explored the depths, the Kierkegaardian depths <laughs> of the the uh, Nordic psyche. Have we not? Can we? Oh, okay. Sure. Can we? Can sure. we move Did on to Mexican monster movies maybe, after this yeah. or something like that? <laughs> but there are good. Like there's, I, I love. No, there is more. The there's films. more pain you can drill <laughs> out of. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No one's done a happy Scandinavian. Okay. Well, no one's. Yeah, Bergen this was yet, a pretty so upbeat one okay, as, right. as they go, right? Yeah, go watch, thing, go watch The Hunt and you'll be like, oh shit, I'm back. As Tad <laughs> said about face acting, this is simply a Dogma 95 film. And yeah. It's, yeah, big time. It's a perfect example of one, and if you with a few exceptions. Well, he is the uh, co founder. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, it's, yeah. it's, not, it's not Dogma 95 in the sense of, um, you know. But it was all exactly. handheld, looked like almost all natural light. Handheld, all faces, all real yeah. stories, no no, no time tricks, no special yeah, effects. Oh, this, not, yeah, the I, shot, I don't think, the, I don't the think shot behind Scott light. of them going down yeah. the street and like it's beautiful like it it's the, yeah. the, and, movie, and the, the mist movies, and the movie's the great looking but i guarantee you they use some lights i guarantee you yeah. no they know they, they didn't do well, no lights. Lights. They didn't and, and the audio lighting. stuff is, no, they, is... they've tweaked the dogma thing a little bit so yeah yeah they've admitted that the dogma thing was just a marketing ploy mm -hmm. to get yeah okay, okay this guy put his name because when you really title. read all of them there's like 13 it's like impossible to make no. it well, there's only like there's only like a, a dozen or two that actually made the the label, you know, at the beginning when they were really. As soon as you put his name on it, he was out, so it doesn't really matter. I but think Julian Donkey Boy and Gummo, uh, for that maybe close closest, the closest, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny this watching this in terms of how it was laid out and how the shots worked reminded me of John's film New, actually, which, I knew, a, um... which either you knew or didn't know was a Dogma ninety five science fiction film. A little bit. Uh, yeah, you know, uh -huh. you know who's closer to Dogma Nine Five actually is uh, Gaspar Noé. Oh yeah, he, he doesn't use any lights because he doesn't want them. He doesn't want to inhibit his actors, so yeah. his cinematographer is just has to be on it. What about Harmony Corrine? Yeah, well, that's who. Uh, yeah, Julian Don Don just brought in. Julian oh yeah, but that guy. That's that's but it's a that's bizarre though. <laughs> J Jim, Jim, I was saying, have you have you ever seen anything by Gaspar Noé, Jim? Uh, Into the Void. Yeah, Into the Void. Yeah, I was gonna choose he, that one. He yeah, he's but. he's he's kind of closer to Dogma ninety five because I've read many interviews about how he doesn't like to use lights. Uh -huh. He doesn't like big things around the people. Well, on the set, that's what takes all the time is moving yeah. the goddamn lights around. It's right. it's like eighty percent of your day is it's watching true. watching mm -hmm. the. It is why there's so much downtime in between yeah. scenes. Hey, well, I, I wish like I, I wish I didn't have to use lights. Honest to God. <laughs> no, it's true. Like so one of the hardest things. As a filmmaker, one of the hardest things is to do the close up and jump to the wide or vice versa because it's a completely different setup and you're trying to make it look congruous, yeah. you know, but you're yeah. like, okay, I got to move all the fucking lights now. And well, if you shot on a soundstage, it wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. we're, not, we're not all, we're not all Hitchcock. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, Chris, I like this film a medium. You like a medium? Well, I mean, that's. I like it. Praise. Big, big thumbs up. Big thumbs yeah, up. I, yeah, like I, I like it quite a bit. Thumbs up. I think it's a. It was. I was really, you know, glad that it turned out to be as good as the reviews mm -hmm. would lead you to believe. Um, and that I dance it was, was just complicated in all the right ways. And again, like it weirdly thread the needle on the the, the non-judgmental side of the equation. Like you come out. I, I guess you can come into this movie, come out going, it glorifies alcoholism, and then you could come out the other side going. No, it doesn't. And no, you both kind of be right. You well, both be Matt's, right. And Matt's character, I think, is really interesting because he's a really good teacher when he's drunk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah. the students are so engaged with him. But they're him. all low. Scene, but they're where he all calls loose. the girl up to the front. And he goes and sits in the seat next to the other one. And he's yeah, just like, really good. like, you know, the, the, the whole, the, the, whole the, thing, Hitler, the Hitler bit was the, the three Hitler pictures, yeah. three pictures. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's well, that, like, 
Those scenes oh, were how many of, of you participate in the race? Yeah. How many of you? And they all put their hands up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that like, was, yeah, was okay. Awesome. So I also, understand where uh, I'm coming from. And I understand where you're coming from. His, so anyway. his school road scenes, once he started drinking, his schoolroom scenes were some of my favorite. That and the, that great but no, scene with the music but they took teacher. The time to show, they took the time to show him before, which is like he was this totally constipated, unhappy guy. He was checked out. He was, he was so out. bad that par the parents were complaining about him, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. even when he gets I sober and he goes back to the class after he's not drinking they're still like on board with him yeah and then and yeah and like john was gonna say i think when the choir finally starts singing oh my god oh, it was beautiful. beautiful oh dude great scene. beautiful also the coach and the inspects that was so yeah. sweet yeah I mean, everybody I, got their little story when yeah. when they when, yeah, they, when yeah. you got to see it how really the, added, the drinking added, improved them i know it really added, i wanted added. more of that actually it was like i was i felt like well, it could have dug a little deeper we could have stayed the, with that a little longer do you guys remember the opening? Like the the audio editing in the opening was fucking amazing. Oh yeah, listen. With they Which were like part? doing the big party thing, and then they yeah. cut right to like oh right, right, like right, slam cut to stuff like that is like what what it's gets you into the picture, sucks you uh, in. Oh mm -hmm. man, and also does does it make you miss going out and drinking with friends? This oh yeah. oh yeah. my god, it was a tug. It was the a caviar, tug. the caviar and champagne. Oh, oh no, cool. I could see you at a, that looked like a place in Sonoma. No, just yeah. see, just seeing two people sitting next to each other having a drink. It's yeah. just like fuck you. Exactly. And also, yeah. and also, I don't. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I've been when he's trying to get back with his wife. I've that's you know I've been there. Right. And it was I loved how they organically sort of she starts texting him. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that was nice. It was just it was very sweet because it it felt real. It felt like real life, you know. Yeah, yeah. So they, that was a weird thing for me is the the text coming up on screen. I thought was fine, but also then they used it for the parts. Like why they use the same they use the same mechanic for the text that he's getting for right. his all the, yeah. all the uh, intertitles. Were it was yeah. all was it Times Medium or something like that, John? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, but also but also the the, the same black screen title. Yeah. And yeah. Like well, no, I like it. You, you can't do they that. Were consistent. Well, I, I guess yeah, it didn't bother me. It didn't bother me. Did we should have been handled in two different ways. On the shed, Jim. What? Did you you haven't weighed in on this yet? I really liked it. Uh, of course, I have a bunch of Danish relatives. I've been in that restaurant where those guys. No, no really? 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 <laughs> no, no. I mean, it's just, it's a generic. Uh, and it's amazing because Denmark, like 40 years ago, Denmark, you know, after the war, they were just eating, they didn't even get meat rations. You know, they were on rations for like 15, 20 years. Oh, yeah. Do you mean and, rations? And now, and now it is like Sonoma. They're like, oh, yes. This uh, caviar was, uh, you know, <laughs> located out of Germany, and it's velvety smooth. And try it with the vodka. Right. And knock a <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. ass. Oh, that fucking restaurant, dude. That I wanted to try that vodka so bad. <laughs> oh, my God. I, know, I, I, I don't even like that. vodka. I don't even like vodka, but the way the guy described yeah. it, I was like, I got to try that. I, I, yelling I about the movie like season that. three, The Danish Trip. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, God. I, I we should, agree we with should, We should start making documentaries like those. Madsen is Two guys. or Mads is kind of he's hard to look at sometimes. Uh -huh. he's, he's, got that weird mouth. he's got he's kind of angular, yeah. The thing the only thing I remember him from is he's Le Chiffre in yes, Casino Royale, right? Uh, okay, and uh but I think the wife, Mads character's wife sums it up where it's like the whole fucking country drinks yeah <laughs> and I then the next yeah. scene you see her in she orders a glass of wine and like she said right? that and i was like well, that's see that's the thing that's part of the larger scientific thing everyone yeah. there is drunk you know it's <laughs> some of the reviews addressed that that they said it's like it's a drinking culture uh -huh. yeah most, most cultures how come, how come she's the one she's the one that's been cheating on him forever but he's the one that's got to like be all i'm sorry come back to me well, because he, I mean, because I don't know. he was an okay. asshole okay. when he was sober. Well, I mean, he's an he asshole. Was an when he's asshole. Yeah. He looks oh. like he was a hard guy to spend time with. Right, he's a piece he of shit, top to bottom. <laughs> because right. what does a man do? A man provides for his family. I'm oh, sorry, I was watching Breaking Bad this week, and that yeah. came up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was also about. It's still, also no, about. I think it's that's, also that's about why she gets. But she's got some. She's got some guilt. That's why she's. You know. She's oh, absolutely. Again. Yeah. Well, Danish. Danish like. Breaking I Bad mean, is called I Breaking mean, Mads. Breaking. Oh, Breaking Mads. With, uh, Chris, that you know, they handled everything. It's not ham-handed like it would be in, in a Hollywood flick. No. Yeah. You know, yeah. it, it's nuanced. 
Yeah. yeah. So you know the, the. I could see this movie being made in America, and it would suck. No, it would suck. Well, yeah, no, it, say, it was fun to see the high school traditions over there with the busloads and weird hats. Yeah. 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 I will even say that the scene in the in the liquor store where they're at their most fucked up. Oh my god. I, 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 who's who's been there? Just like that. <laughs> the amazing thing about that is the the guy who's Trying running to keep your the shit manager for the liquor the store, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's like he's seen it before. Come on, guys. It's like, exactly. Okay, no, get, get Actually, out of I've never I've liquor. never fallen yeah. down though like that. I've never Same fallen down. Yeah. When yeah. Matt walks by, and he's like, yeah, it's okay. So the bartender okay. in the bar where they stole the bottles from, oh, same thing. She's seen all this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bartenders in general. So this, is, this is the rare yelling about movie. I think six thumbs up. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, yeah. well it's really well done, man. Yeah. Well, I'm, actually, I'm Tad, Tad's thumb is sideways. I uh, know. No, no, no. I'm sixty percent. Sixty percent. I'll take it. It's pointing up.